Hello everyone, this is 100DD33 and I want to show you basically one of my main first attractions to the hunter and that is the hog feeders. So the hog feeders are really cool because you can put them out and as long as they're in a pretty good location you're gonna have some kind of action. So I'm gonna show you some really good locations to put your hog feeders out. Alright guys, the first one we're going to go to is going to be right here. And this location is excellent because, well, let's head over there and take a look. Well guys, we almost made it to the first spot. And you can see there's a male hog calling right now. And if you look, it's calling pretty much right on the feeder. Alright guys, so here's another reason why this is a good spot. So basically you're going to come in on top of the hill and you can look down and you can see everything out in front of you before you get to the stand that way in case there's some nice pigs there that you want to make sure you're really stealthy you can observe them before you get to them and it gives you okay there's a couple of pigs out there actually so there's a male it looks like and there's another male there and I think that's another male there yeah, ooh, ooh, that's a big one, guys. That is a big male hog right there. So the good thing we brought our reverse draw crossbow with us. And I do have my hog feeder set up here. But I don't have any bait in it. At least I don't think so. Because I just put it out here, like, probably five minutes ago. Literally. So there's definitely no attraction to it. But as you can see, there's definitely some hogs around here. Now, this is a good spot here because you don't really need a stand. If you look right on this rock, you have a nice view of the feeder right here. I think it's about like a 33, 34 meter shot. Okay, yeah, so about 40 meters right here. It's a little bit far for a recurve, but you could definitely take it with the Parker or... Uh, Pulsar, any one of those kind of bows. Alright, so I think the big male's coming in. We're going to get in the stand here. And the thing about this rock here is you can always come up on it and just prone right to the tree. And once you get here, just pop up right in the tree stand and you're in. Alright, so from right here, yeah, right here you got about a 35 meter shot, which is definitely doable with the recurve, but I would recommend using the reverse draw or the pulsar or some kind. Of, oh, look at all the pigs. Let's try and find the big one here. Is this him? Yeah, here's the big one right here. The female there. It's this one here. There's just a ton of hogs here. And in a second, I'm going to go over to my hog feeder and show you guys that there is absolutely no feed in my hog feeder right now. This is just pure a good spot. That's why all these hogs are here right now. And as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty open spot. You can see all the way over there. You look on the map, there's a lake over there. Nice little pond. And the mule deer bucks, they tend to roam around that pond quite a bit. And I've definitely shot some 200 plus muleys in this area. And you always want to be careful to check out this way too. Because there definitely could be some big ones over there. Alright, so I think we're going to take out this big one here. With my reverse draw crossbow. Actually, I think I have my recurve on me. I might just use that. Just smoked him. All right, let's see if we can get another one on the run. Oh, hit just behind him. But at least we got our big pig. He should go down pretty soon. And the coordinates for here are X negative eight seven one five and Y five seven zero three. So the thing about this spot is when it gets to 100%, this spot definitely gets to 100% by the way, 
you'll have between probably seven to ten hogs on here at once and they basically when they spook they just run over here and they get into this little woods here and they just kind of hang out right there so if you look at my uh, hunter mate here you can see where my dot is and the pigs don't really go out of render the furthest they'll go is pretty much close to this road but not quite and then they always they always pretty much loop back around and come back in so the thing is even if you hit one bad if you hit it in the body or if you gut shoot it it will always run away and eventually it will kind of circle back and you always find it somewhere dead somewhere over here or over here speaking of coming back to the feeder check this out guys we already have a male hog coming in right now <laughs> okay now I really need to show you guys the feeder, just so you can believe me that there's no feed in this thing at all. Because I can't even believe it right now. And there's more calling in the background, look at that. Alright, so this one's kind of quartering at us, but we should be able to take that shot. Should stop. Alright, just smashed him. He's hit pretty good. And you can see this one's already coming back in. So here's the blood from the first one we shot. Lung and heart. And the second one. Lung and heart too it looks like. And here he is down here. Pretty cool. Nice big old hog. Should be a 900 plus and you can hear more in the background. Yeah, this spot I would definitely recommend hunting for hogs. Alright, let's see what he scores. 980.9. And we hit him in the shoulder weight and left lung. So, can't really complain about that. Considering there was no feed in the hog feeder at all. And we killed a monster feral hog here. Pretty cool. Alright guys, here's the blood from the other hog that we shot. So we'll track him down. For those of you that like to hunt with rifles or take far shots with the, with the bow, this is a pretty cool spot right here too. So you can see the feeder out there at about 125, 126 meters. And it's all wide open. So you can pretty much see anything coming from far away. And you can just sit here prone and take a perfect shot. The coordinates here where I'm at are X negative 8, 5, 9, 6, and Y 5, 6, 1, 2. So that's where the far shooting or rifle spot is. Alright guys, well we just found our other hog that we shot with the reverse star crossbow. And he's down pretty much right next to the road. So if you look at the map... He pretty much ran right kind of towards where I put the X. Um, and if you hit him good, they're going to die somewhere along this road. Alright, so let's pick him up. And not a bad one either. He scores 714.27. And we hit him in the shoulder blade and right lung. Alright guys, we just reached spot number 2. And this spot is pretty good. Now this spot, you probably aren't going to have as much action as the first spot, but I've killed my biggest feral hog in this exact spot. And I believe it was 1187. And I've killed a lot of 1100 pluses right in this spot right here. So, like I said, you can't really see very much, but you're going to have some pretty close shots. I believe I have the feeder set out here at about 22 meters away. So you can definitely recurve them from here. And you can see a little bit out this way in case they start coming from this direction. And the coordinates for this location are X, negative 9190, and Y, 5479. Alright guys, so we're at the third spot now. And this spot's pretty good here. 
This is a really good spot for coyotes also. And if you look at the map, this is pretty much the only spot I know where you can get um, full attractiveness on the south end for feral hogs. So like I said, you can see the tower stand from here. And the coordinates for this spot are X negative 9044 and Y 8234. I believe you could sit in the tower stand. Let's see how far it is here. If you were in the tower stand, this feeder might just barely be in render distance. Okay guys, so just so you know, I went over to the tower stand now to take a look and see if you can see the feeder from here. And you most certainly can see the feeder. You can see it out there. It's about 226 meters out there. So, like I said, as long as you go 20, about 25 meters towards the feeder from here, the feeder will pop into render and then you can get back in the tower stand and you'll be able to take some nice long range shots. All right, so when I was coming out here to set this up, I'll show you what just happened. All right guys, so what happened is we found a huge mule deer buck, 210 to 240 score, just a monster. And what happened was we found a max weight track, 115 to 140 kg, fresh, roaming in the direction of the beach. And we're only 300 meters away from the last stand that I just had my hog feeder set at. So that's why this is a good spot. And this is what happens next. Oh my God. We just smoked him. Alright guys, here he is down here. What a monster mule. Let's see what he scores. 216.14. And we hit him in the shoulder blade, liver, stomach, and intestine. And it's also our 25th reverse draw crossbow harvest. So that was pretty awesome. Not a bad way to start a hunt. And not a bad way to show you that this is a really good spot for hogs. But not only hogs. Also some monster mule deer bucks. But wait. There's more. Not even 5 minutes after I just shot that mule deer buck. Another one grunts. And he scores 184. But if you notice this rack, it looks like a typical 160 or 170 rack. So I think it's pretty unique and I'm definitely going to take a trophy shot of it. Not only that, we're only 300 meters away from that last stand. Alright guys, so we just got to spot number 4. And this is basically, you could either choose this spot or the next spot. You can't choose both unfortunately. But this is my first choice that I would definitely pick. So, I can't put any more feeders out right now, but if I could, right there, 20 meters in front of me, is the perfect spot to put a hog feeder. And I used to have one there for many, many um, hunts. And I've shot a lot of hogs there. One time there was actually 23 different hogs on my bait at one time. And a couple of my hog drive videos that I've done we're in this exact location right here.
So this is a very excellent spot. And you don't really need to know the coordinates of this spot. You can just look at the map here and I'm um, right at this tower stand. The thing is this spot is excellent because you can see so far. You can literally see 360 degrees around you. And that's why I would definitely suggest this spot right here. So if you have a hog feeder here, you'd want to put your tent somewhere over here or over here and then you can literally just run directly to your tower stand alright guys well now I'm gonna show you the last spot and pretty much my favorite spot alright guys well we just got to the last spot here and this is pretty much my favorite spot um, I actually like the last spot we were just at the best and I'll show where we're at here so we were just over here thing is this spot is excellent over where we just were but the problem is if the animals get too close to you they'll smell you and spook and unfortunately in that location there's no spot where you can put a tree stand within bow range of the hog feeder so basically that's the only reason why I moved over to this spot here so if you look it's pretty much all open you can see all the way out almost out of render distance over here Actually, you can see the render because one time I saw a 200 muley right, right over there by that rock. So you definitely can see out to render here. And we actually have a pretty big hog here. 940 to 1040. 190 to 200 score. And the thing is, when I do a lot of bow hunting off these feeders like this, I don't normally shoot the first thing that walks in. I always wait until something good comes in. Like at least a 900 plus, or sometimes I don't even shoot them until they're 1100 plus. And that's the thing about the other spot in that tower stand is say you have a bunch of pigs on your feeder, well, all of a sudden you'll see 1100 plus coming in. Well, all the other pigs will spook you because they'll just smell you eventually, and then, then they're gone and then they spook the big pig. Whereas here, nothing's going to spook. I mean, we have pretty good wind. The wind's pretty much blowing right in your face, so you don't have to worry about them smelling you or anything. But the setback is you don't quite get as many pigs here as you would, or at least you used to not get as many pigs here as, as you would in um, the tower stand spot. So here you can see a female's coming in now. But not a lot of action. Definitely a pretty good male though. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out this male. Because he's definitely not a bad one. And he's about 55 meters. We're going to take him out with a reverse draw crossbow. As soon as this female moves out of the way. Of course she stops right there. Alright so I think we just drilled him. It looked a little bit low. For some reason, I might have been a little bit low, but he's definitely hit pretty good. I think it was a little bit low, and it might have got liver, to be honest. So let's go over there and check for some blood. Nope, I was wrong guys. It was a perfect shot. Lung blood right here. So, pretty awesome. Oh, look at this. He's down right here. See, I saw a black pig running away, but I didn't realize that both these pigs were black. So that's why I couldn't tell that this male was down already. I thought he was running away. <laughs> Apparently we hit him pretty good. So here he is right here. Oh yeah, that was a perfect shot. You can see the hole right in the middle of his body there. Nice. Good teeth on him. Let's see what he scores. So we double lunged him at 58.4 meters. And he scores 951. I mean, he's not a giant, but he's 900 plus. So 900 plus. I pretty much wait until they get about that size. And once they get about that size... Then I start shooting him off my feeder. 
pretty cool. Well guys, I just found a pretty heavy track at the feeder and I saw he didn't show up so I decided to track him down and we tracked him down to the beach so I think he should be pretty close by. I see something right there. Is that him? Yep, there's our pig. Alright, so we have an 800 plus um, hog over here and that can happen too sometimes at the feeders. The hogs don't always come in. Sometimes you should check to make sure that there's no heavy tracks on the feeder and if there is track them down because sometimes it might not come back to the feeder alright guys while we're sneaking up on this hog right now I want to announce the subscriber hunt winner and that is Jacob Best so Jacob Best congratulations I'll get in contact with you shortly there he is right there alright we're gonna try and take a sort of a long range shot with the reverse draw crossbow He's probably about 100 out there, 110. All right. So the wind's pushing a bit to the right. I mean a bit to the left, so we're going to hold a bit to the right. Not much, just a little bit. Right there. Money, just drilled him. Here's some blood. Yep, so we have some pretty good blood, and he should be down not too far away. So let's see what he scores. Nice, 110.5 meters, and he scores 836.3. Nice hog. Alright guys, so I think this is going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And go out there and set up some hog feeders. Yeah, there's definitely some good potential to... Maybe you'll find 1100 plus or maybe even an albino. So good luck and we'll see you guys next time.